Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Emma. In this video, I will introduce you to investigating businesses during an OSINT investigation. Are you wondering why open source intelligence would be gathered for businesses? One company may investigate its competitor to study the current market trend or to identify a potential investment opportunity. A company may hire a special team to gather open source intelligence about itself to ensure that no sensitive data is out there on the internet. In some cases, the law enforcement may investigate a company on suspicious grounds like corruption, tax evasion, or fraud. In all cases, if the OSINT professional is aware of the possible data points that can be gathered about businesses, then they are in a great position to conduct a thorough investigation. Now, I will tell you about the data points to look for while investigating businesses. Typically, the investigation starts out with a company's name. You can use search engines to easily identify their website. Most companies have one these days. In the website, look for information about the company, its mission and vision, the founders, latest news, top clients, client testimonials, contact information, employee names, details of their products and services, etc. All the information in a company's website can be used to build a basic profile. Businesses are required to publicly register themselves. This registration data contains information like full business name, unique business number, date of incorporation, active status, public financial information, etc. Depending on the country the target business is located in, you can search for websites providing business registration information. You can also perform a domain registration lookup using the target's domain name. It is possible to identify the company's address, contact information, and much more. Business registration data will help you comprehend the extent of a company's activities. Most businesses have a presence on social media platforms like Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. You can investigate the social media profiles of a company to know more about public events, mergers and acquisitions, and other updates. It is quite common for employees of a particular company to update the bio on their social media profiles about their employment status. Sometimes, employees post publicly about the current projects they are working on or interact with other individuals on topics of common interest. Identifying sensitive information about a company's ongoing projects is extremely valuable during an OSINT investigation. To know more about how you can leverage social media platforms for open source intelligence, you can watch some more videos on our channel. You can find the links to them in the description box below. LinkedIn is a great resource for open source information about businesses. You can also search in public databases for data like a company's annual report. This is a document that details the company's progress in the last year along with financial information. Some business owners have multiple companies registered under their name. Studying business relationships with sister companies is significant for open source intelligence. You can also use search engines to find information in news and media websites about a company's recent activity, like recent investments, corporate social responsibility activities, etc. When top-tier employees join or leave a company, it becomes public knowledge. In some cases, this information plays an important role for OSINT. When companies have been victims of cyber attacks, it is possible to find leaked data online for public view. Some websites specially host collections of leaked data. To know more about how you can use search engines to their full capacity for OSINT, I invite you to watch some more videos on our channel. You can find the link to them in the description box below. I hope you have a good idea now about why and how open source intelligence can be gathered about businesses. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. 
Happy learning and see you soon.